Whilst the Exos 48 says that it only has four litres more capacity, it's quite clear to me that the Exos 48 is just overall a much larger bag. Now you'll notice straight away on the Ton 44 that you've got pockets on the waist belt, proper ones. You can get um, six, seven or eight maybe normal sized uh, cereal bars or something like that into these pockets, one on each side with a nice zip with a nice ring pull on it as well which is pretty decent. On the Exos 48 on the current model you don't have hip belt pockets at all. Now when we look at the hip belts, the hip belts are very similar in construction and thickness. The Talon 44 feels slightly more heavy duty than the Exos 48. The old version of the Exos 48 used to have hip belt pockets but they removed it for some reason. One thing you'll see on the Exos 48 is it has this system as an attachment point for either a tent or a sleeping mat. These are very, very thin, and it's one continuous piece of material that doesn't really balance anything particularly well. In fact, I'm not going to say it's useless, um, but I'm going to say that it's not very good. Talon 44, on the other hand, is a much more conventional pack, and that's a theme that you'll see throughout. It has the standard um, attachment area for like a tent on the back as you'd find on most rucksacks. Now one area where things really start to change is these outside pockets. On the Exos 48 they are absolutely huge and you can fit lots of different things into them. Now I've stuck a one litre Nalgene bottle in next to a one and a half litre water bottle. You can see how big they are. So that fits in as does that. <laughs> it's really big. And that's the same on both sides. And this is kind of ideas repeated on this, on the back section here as well. It's absolutely huge, it really fits a lot. Apparently the older version was even bigger, but this is definitely big enough for anything that anyone could sort of reasonably want it for, I think. So you have a very large pocket on the back. Again, you can see you can get that as a one litre Nalgene in there just as a reference size. And you could probably fit quite a few other things still in there as well. That is sharply contrasted with the Talon 44 side pockets, which unfortunately are nowhere near as big, but you can get stuff in. It depends what's in the inside. So you can still get an Algin bottle in each side, but that's about your limit. You could fit maybe a few little bits and pieces down the side, but it's certainly not as big. But for me, the real disappointment on this pack is probably this outer pouch. You can still get stuff into it, but it's press this is pressing into the inner pack. If you had this more heavily loaded, this pack, I think you'd struggle to get this into it. Whereas on the uh, on the Exos 48, it wouldn't be so much of a problem. However, they still are functional pockets and they still work well. There's just a, a really noticeable difference between the two packs. And these are reinforced at the bottom here. They've tried to make access areas but I've found these to be useless. I just can't get anything much out of these at all. Perhaps if you had a few snacks in there, you could probably do that, but that would be about it. For the Exos 48, on the other hand, these access parts here work perfectly. You can easily you can see how much bigger these pockets are. Now we're gonna look at back support and shoulder straps. On the Talon 44 here, the back support is it's called the airspace system. It's just like a little bit of padding. And there's, I can feel inside that there's two metal, they feel like metal bars. It might be fiberglass, I'm not sure. But there's two support bars running down the side. But it's a, it is a flexible pack. It's more flexible than the Exos 48. But what we <coughs> have is a system that sits flush to the back. It's very conventional. And we have an, a back adjustment system, you know, with a Velcro here, which you can pull out. And then you can slide the back up and down to adjust it. So this is, again, a theme with the Talon 44 is very conventional pack. It's very square, straight, and with an adjustable back system. Now the Exos 48, on the other hand, has a curved system. It's uh, the it's called Air Speed, and it's the frame itself sits away from this mesh, and the whole pack is actually curved in an arc. You can see it like this, that it curves in this way, and it has these metal rods that run through it. Um, and it's, a, it's certainly a much stiffer pack. But we notice here that the back system is not adjustable in height. Now, both of these packs are available in different sizes and you should use the Osprey uh, website in order to find out which size pack would be best for you. And there's, uh, these are to do with the length of your 
length of your back. This system is much cooler in the summer. It allows the air flow and it keeps the pack away from your back. But it is a slightly weird shape, however, and it means that it doesn't stand. It will just fall over. The Exos 48 sits in such a way that it, it does seem to have the effect of feeling as if it's not as heavy. The pack gets wider at the base, comes in narrower, and then seems to get, get wider again, almost like an hourglass shape. This bend that you see here is more, much more pronounced inside. We'll, we'll come on to the inside shapes in a little while. I just want to cover the uh, shoulder straps first. Now, the sh shoulder straps on this on the Exos 48 are kind of like hollow tubes mash into different shapes like this they're quite padded and they feel quite wide but to me when they're under some strain they sort of do this like this and they become more tubular like that, more cylindrical they're not quite as wide how long 44 much thinner straps but they're wider so they feel like they spread the load better um, in this instance my preference is probably for the Talon 44 straps. I think that they they sit better, they stay wider for longer, and spread the load a bit better. Neither of them have uh, secure attachment points. They've both gone for sort of elasticated material attachment points. I suppose there's this hoop here. It's very slightly elasticated on the XS48. You can hang a carabiner from. This is probably a better attachment point on the Exos 48 though than is on the uh, Talon 44. Overall though, my preference would be for the Talon 44 straps. I kind of feel that, yeah, this is perhaps better in the summer because it's got lots of holes in it. It will get the, the sweat away and the heat out more easily. But they definitely, to me, feel, feel narrower. They don't spread the load quite as well because of that. Now the top lids on these packs are much the same really. There's a one pocket at the top and then you have the standard pocket on the inside as well the only real difference is the exos 48 is detachable so you can just clip the lid out and then it has a secondary flap which you can use if you want to use the pack without the lid it will reduce the pack weight slightly and you can attach the outside straps here which is a really nice touch, I think, on the Exos 48. It's nice to have that. You can have a, and that attaches like this with these clips. And when you finish with these, what you do is you just fold them in and they tuck away like this. And then when you're using the regular lid, this just becomes a flap. And we see on the Talon, you have an adjustable, you can adjust the height of the lid, um, but it's not really detachable in that sense. Uh, the Talon 44 also has a decent sized in a pocket as well. The Exos 48 has this ridge inside which is quite sharp, angled and solid. And it means that it's not a straight pack inside, it's sort of like a slight L shape. It also gets wider at the bottom, then narrower towards the middle, and then wider again at the top. And one of the problems that this can cause is firstly that it's slightly harder to load it quickly but it can create an unbalanced pack if you're not careful. The Exos 48 requires more care when you're loading it to balance the weight out properly. It can easily become top heavy because you can shove some stuff at the bottom, then the, the, middle, narrow, the middle area becomes narrow, which is traditionally where you want to put most of your uh, heavy items, and then the top area becomes really wide again, and that can mean that you can end up misbalancing the, the, the pack. So it does take a few practice packs and getting used to where to put your items. But on the other hand, I'd say that once you've done that a couple of times and you've, you've figured it out, it's then not a problem. It, it can be difficult, for instance, to pull a large sleeping bag out from the bottom when it's got to get past that, that kind of wedge shape that it's got. So it's, some, it's definitely something to bear in mind because it's not a traditional shape. It's more of an hourglass shaped pack, wide at the bottom, narrow in the middle, and then wide again at the top. You can uh, see, I can just pull a bag straight out. Now a bag like that would be much harder to just pull straight out like a pack liner in the Exos 48 because of the angle of the inside. The Talon inside is just a standard rectangle. The Exos 48 is, can take more gear, you can store more into it, although it's gonna be harder to do that because of its unusual shape, but it has these cavernous external pockets. 
but it lacks the hip hip belt pockets i don't like the shoulder strap system as much and i don't like the fact that the back area isn't uh, the height of the, the back system isn't adjustable talon 44 is much more traditional in those regards and it has the standard shoulder strap system adjustable back straightforward back system in terms of what they can carry i have tried loading more gear into both of these and because of the Exos 48 stiffer frame, I think it can handle about three kilograms more than the Talon 44. For me, the limit on comfortable carry for the Exos 48 is, is somewhere around the 14 kilogram mark, which I think is probably about 30 pounds in weight. And Talon 44 um, limit for me is it's somewhere in the 11 to 12 kilograms range which is sort of 24 pounds, 23 pounds, something like that. Um, they're not hard rules, and especially if those are consumables like water, you can definitely load more into either of them if you want to. So what should most people get? I think most people would probably be happier with the Exos 48 in the sense that it's a larger pack and it can carry more, and those outside pockets, I wish if the Talon 44 had the outside pockets of the Exos 48, it, to me it would be game over and the Talon would just win. I think the Exos 48 for most people, especially wild campers, is probably the best pack for them. Anyway, I hope that was useful. Please like, subscribe and give me a comment and I'll try and get back to you as well. And I hope to see you in the next video. So take care. Bye bye.